what is going on guys today we are reading one piece chapter 1044 um there has been an insane amount of hype around this chapter uh from obviously it started kind of around uh tcb who are the scan scanalators for chapters and stuff like that um they uh, but obviously they said days ago that uh you everybody avoid the timeline avoid spoilers etc etc so i've basically not been on twitter most of the week um and I've, I've managed to avoid everything about this chapter which is awesome i don't read spoilers i never read spoilers i don't like them and especially this week i've, I've been able to avoid all spoilers at all um, which is great but yeah i'm really looking forward to this chapter hopefully the hype hasn't been set too high um but yeah i'm really looking forward to it so as always guys uh, like the video if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new and let's go into this chapter right now so front page uh well cover page uh, is chapter 144 warrior of liberation damn um, i don't i don't even think i'm ready for this let's get it uh gemma 66's cold-blooded voyage volume 8 mama's out at sea let's start our research uh, so, a resounding pulse. What's happening? How can I still stand? I just lost. But I feel like I'm having a blast. <laughs> Ooh. Kaido is, like, sh shaking. Luffy is Joy Boy? Zunisha said that? Pleasure Hall, right brain tower. Gat! Yeah. Yeah. Sir Pirate, you're awake. Luffy? Life floor? What the? Is... Is that Sir Straw Hat? Straw Hat? Hey, you two. He's still breathing. Luffy's still alive? You've got to be okay. Right, big bro? But how can they all tell that he's still there? And it woke Sanji up too. What? The Holy Land, Mary Joyce. We sacrificed one of our best agents and enraged Kaido. The Hall of Power, Pangia Castle. Are we sure our priorities are straight? This may be better than the alternative. It's imperative that we snuff out something this problematic. No matter the error, the world government has always failed to acquire the Goma Gomu fruit, even after 800 years of trying. It's almost as if the fruit itself is evading us. Well, that's not impossible. All zone fruits have a will of their own, and this one carries the name of a god. After all, the Goma Gomu fruit is really a mythical zone. It's the human human fruit, model Nika. Its user's body gains the properties of rubber in combat. They're supposedly only limited by their imagination putting smiles on faces far and wide. They are the embodiment of the warrior of liberation, sun god Nika. Awakening exceptionally strengthens their rubber body and they have even more freedom. It is allegedly the most ridiculous power in the world. <laughs> Treasure repository, second floor. Yori! I really admired Odin. Can we get back to the main subject, please, chapter? Think about what you're doing. It was all Kaido. It was using me. We can still run away together. Just remove these nails and... You spat in the face of a samurai you owed. Who would still believe you? My father kept his promise. Did he not? He danced like a fool for five long years because he thought you and Kaido would honour the secret agreement you made and free Wano. He never even told his own family. My father was a man who kept his word. He still expected the same of you when you, sorry, when you agreed to let them go. If he was stood being boiled for an entire hour, even while his body was being burned by the oil, 
despite it all, he always showed smile. He always smiled. Always, I can't even fathom my father's suffering. Oh, excuse me. Uh, he had to shoulder the burden by himself because the entire nation was your hostage. What's the matter, Yodi? Father, are you really okay with what everyone says about you? Of course I am. You know why? Because I have you guys. Really? Then I swear I'll always be there for you. Oh yes, I've always said Odin was a great samurai. As Shogun, I can ensure his legacy is recognised. Your father. Hold your tongue, you miserable wretch. I am Kozi Kozuki Hiyori. I was always proud to carry my father's name, even when I was starving and covered in rags. You, on the other hand, never had a trace of honour. Every day you were Shogun was one too many, and as each day passed, more and more lives were lost. Wait, stop. Don't do something you're going to regret. Seeking revenge is, is a dated ideology, you know. Wow. Besides, killing me makes no difference. Kaido will still be unbeatable. Oh, gee, somehow. Huh? I have failed. Is is that you, Kanjiro? This is as far as I go. Your timing is impeccable. This is the ideal stage for your real final performance. Burn that woman to ash. Go, go on, take her. The failed revenge of the shrew twenty years in the making. It's the perfect title for the tragic comedy. Take a look, Yori. A Kozuki survivor should know that fortune favours the mighty. Orochi Samo. That's the wrong way. Yeah. The dawn will come. Kanjiro, you idiot. Hiyori, save me. It burns. The Kozuki clan always keeps its promises. Doom, da, da, da. I, want, I really want to hear what the drum sounds like. I feel like anything's possible now. I can keep fighting a bit longer. My heartbeat sounds funny. This is my peak. This is... Gear fifth. Wah. Wah. Hey, you guys. What the hell is that? It's on the roof. Hey, what's happening? Conqueror's Haki. Where's it coming from? Oh, <laughs> oh no fucking way is each trap. <laughs> what? Straw hat, Luffy. Look at him, dude. Oh. He just ripped him out of there like a fucking snake. What? Oh, dude, I'm gonna fucking cry. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at him, dude. <laughs> Take this. He is swinging him round like a snake. I don't fucking believe it. <laughs> Straw hat, so you're still alive. I'm grateful. Blast breath. <laughs> he just keeps laughing. What? What is this, like, comical art? Like, art style? Bro. <laughs> Goo! <laughs> I don't even... I, I, what? Sorry about that idiot from before. I didn't want to win like that. Don't sweat it. Now, let's finish this. This battle reaches its finale. Next issue, cover and color spread. Holy fuck, dude. Right, so that was chapter 1044. Ah, so much to say. Wow. Um. So I've going off of the last chapter um we've obviously had the massive reveal of joy boy which was insane and we've had talks about the goma gomu fruit i did not expect it to be not only a zone type but a mythical zone type um and this one carries the name of a god which is nika and it's a human zone. Sorry, it's a human human fruit. Oh my god, I can't, man. I fucking can't. Its user's body gains the properties of rubber in combat. So that explains obviously why you know he's still a, a rubber man. 
putting smiles on faces far and wide. They are the embodiment of the warrior of liberation. <laughs> wow, and that little silhouette there as well shows his gear fifth form. This is everything and more I possibly could have ever imagined in this chapter. Um, so, sorry, Huri, I'm not, I'm uh, I'm skipping over this for the for the talk for this. <laughs> more important things are happening. Um, and then gear fifth. This is my peak. This is my gear fifth. What? That's fucking insane. Um, and the way he grabs onto Kado like he's a snake. <laughs> Can't believe that. <laughs> Uh, I love like this weird little comic-y like eye thing is going on as well and then with elements of uh, Luffy in these panels too he's just got a very very cartoony art style which is actually quite funny but Joy Boy is back um, which I don't really think was fully explained in this chapter because Everybody sensed Luffy. Maybe maybe Luffy was just laughing like he is all over the place here and everybody could hear him. Um, but Joy Boy has come back in some way. Maybe it's just that Anisha recognized so much that... I don't know, because Momo said Luffy is Joy Boy, not what was in the last chapter, which was Joy Boy is back. So... Yeah, um, regardless, I'm not thinking about that too much at the moment because re releasing this information via his Devil Fruit, Gear 5, and this look as well, I love this. Like, Luffy's got these kind of clouds around him like he is actually some kind of god, which apparently he is because of his Devil Fruit. <laughs> um, fuck, man. Thinking back to the start of the series where a lot of people were theorizing that Luffy is um, a reincarnation of Roger. And now he is, in my honest opinion, so much more. But thinking, thinking to Roger too, and obviously how he obviously was the same as Luffy, he caused everyone around him the, to smile. He had this giant smile on him. Um, honestly, everything that happened in this chapter almost everything I've ever wanted to know, probably there's more, but there's main things, what everything I've ever wanted to know, if the will of D, I was expecting, I was half expecting on one of these pages for the will of D's name to be revealed. Um, but yeah, knowing everything we know about Roger, I think it's very possible at this point that Roger could have also been a user of the gum gum fruit. Um, I'm shaking, oh my god. And the fact that the next two chapters, we get two more chapters now, we get there's no breaks for the next two chapters, is freaking insane. I just realized what's happened here too, um, in this panel. Luffy's, it's he's using an awakening too, it looks like, because he's turning the ground into what seems like rubber. That's insane, fuck me man, this is actual peak Luffy strength. I can't believe it. I actually can't believe this chapter. Wow. Um, but yeah, overall, one of the best chapters of One Piece I've ever read. And uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this chapter. Of course you did. I certainly did. Uh, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out. Fuck. <laughs>